This morning for you on Daybreak, Hannah Zettel has the story of a tech center in Reeds Spring helping high schoolers get EMT certification. And one local university is looking to make the path to graduation easier to navigate for students. Plus, with CBD products growing in popularity around town, one business is getting in on the game that might surprise you. We'll explain that and more coming up for you this morning on Daybreak. Well, good morning and thanks for joining us. It's Wednesday, June 12th. I'm Lauren Barnes. And I'm Joe Morano. Hope you're getting set to start off this midweek day, right? <laughs> I feel like there was a sigh in there. Yeah, I feel, I feel like there is. I'm just, uh, it's, it feels like a long week. Yeah, you know well, I mean? and you're going to be up late tonight probably for Game 7 of the Blues. Yeah, you got to watch the Blues. It's Game 7, right? Yeah, we'll be Any strategic. Game 7 you should watch, but this town is going to be crazy. St. Louis will be crazy. Yeah. It'll be pretty fun. That'll be good. Um, Beth is with us, too, this morning. I don't know how you feel about the Blues, but I know uh, there is some stuff to watch in case anyone maybe is thinking about watching on the patio. Mm. They'll probably be tuning in to you to see if that's a good idea or yeah. not. No response. Yeah. Uh, what time's the game? You look sad at giving this news 7 o'clock. Uh -huh. It's tonight. Oh. Um. <laughs> we'll get there. Uh, you can start us off with happening? this morning if that's easy. Yeah, we'll start with this morning and then we'll make it through the rest of okay. the day. Yeah, how about that? Okay. We're starting off this morning with a couple of clouds and some showers out there right now. We've got some sprinkles now just passing through Springfield, making it through Ava and Mountain Grove. And then we've got another wave of showers now heading towards the I-49 corridor. We'll keep the rain showers through this morning. I do think there will be a little bit of a break later this morning. We're at 63 in Springfield, 57 in Branson, 59 in Harrison, 59 in Rolla, and 59 in West Plains. Through the rest of today, here's what we're looking at. We're looking at lingering showers through about 9, 10 o'clock. Then I think I think there's going to be a break where we'll be mostly cloudy. We might get to see a little bit of sunshine, but then those scattered shower chances return by this afternoon with temperatures in the middle 70s today. Now, with these scattered showers, we do have a chance for some severe weather with the main threat being hail. But with the sunshine, it does return on Thursday. We have a very unsettled and a wet pattern looking into the end of this week, into this weekend, and then again into the beginning of next week. We'll do details in just a few minutes. All right, thank you, Beth. We put crime into focus for you to start off this morning. A man is in custody after a standoff with Springfield police that lasted about two hours. The incident took place around midnight west of the intersection of North Street and Weller Avenue on the north side of Springfield. According to authorities, neighbors in the area noticed a suspect break into a nearby home and then called police. Police surrounded the home and were able to arrest this person. No injuries reported as of right now. New this morning, students at the Gibson Technical Center in Reed Spring are on the road to becoming fully licensed emergency medical technicians. Yeah, Hannah Zettel has the story this morning of just one stop along this road to success and how these students prepare to compete at an international competition. Well, good morning, Lauren and Joe. EMT students will take off for Orlando next week for the HOSA International Leadership Conference. But before that, let's take a look at some of the amazing things happening over at the Gibson Tech Center. Watch as emergency medical technicians secure a car crash victim. Thank you. Only they're not certified EMTs yet. They're high school students spending a warm summer day training inside. It, you do work during the summer. It's not like you go to summer and just have a break. You, you are working towards it still. This group of juniors and seniors attend the Gibson Technical Center in Reed Spring. You're going to get licensed early on, like sometimes before you're even out of high school. Taking the first step toward working in the medical field. I toured it, and it was just like a love at first sight situation. By the time these students leave Gibson Tech, they will have likely received their EMT certification after working with equipment true to the field. These run all our lights, so over here these turn some on, and then we have our emergency lights that will blink out here. Ben Martin is a senior who recently placed in the Missouri HOSA competition. In EMT, what we're actually in the class to do, we swept the competition. Earning himself and his partner the chance to compete at the international level next week. Uh, it lets you know we're really in the right program to be in for what we want to do. Nearly 10,000 EMT students from across the globe will compete in categories like CPR, life support, and community emergency response. I actually wrote my speech about Forrest Gump. Jay Jaylene Meeks will compete in the area of prepared speaking, pursuing her dream of helping others, mirroring the medics she watched assist her grandmother. 
and I saw how hard they worked and how much they just wanted to help her and how much they want to help everyone and I just really want to be able to help people and be the person there for them when they don't have anybody. Meek's speech centered around self-discovery, something she found through the program. That's what this class does for me. It breaks me from my braces and lets me run towards my purpose. Twelve of those aspiring paramedics will make the trip to Florida. Students were able to cover some of the travel costs thanks to donations, fundraising, and hosting car washes. Hannah Zettel this morning. Thank you very much. We continue our education coverage now as students at Drury University have access to a smooth path to graduation immediately after beginning school because of the Compass Center, which is bringing together academic advising, career planning, and learning supports. The goal is to provide all those services to students from the first day. Students will actually be assigned a mentoring group for this. University Relations Mike Brothers says one of the reasons they're starting this program is because a lot of College kids are just afraid to ask for help. Oftentimes, people come to a career planning office or start thinking about these things in their junior year, even their senior year. You know, hey, I got to get an internship. I ought to go talk to somebody about that. We want to be very intentional in giving students a mentoring squad, a whole team of people that are going to approach this with them from even before they get on campus. Eventually, the university will build a new building for the Compass Center, but for now, it will be where the career planning office is. Happening around the Ozarks, Ozarks Technical College will host the grand opening of the OTC Lebanon Aviation Center, which will be home to the college's commercial pilot training program in partnership with Premier Flight. The grand opening will happen this morning at 10 at the Floyd W. Jones Airport located in Lebanon. This is an expansion of OTC's Aviation Flight Technology degree program, which launched just two years ago at OTC in Springfield. Students who complete the program earn a private pilot's license and are eligible to become a commercial pilot. This week is National Law Enforcement Week, and people in Branson are raising money for those officers. Benefit the badge included dinner as well as a few auctions last night. 250 people or so in attendance there, including police chiefs and county sheriffs from throughout the Ozarks. Branson Police Chief Jeff Matthews says the event helps bridge together officers and the community. Now, the money is great. Don't get me wrong, we, we love that part of it. But a bigger part of Benefit the Badge, it puts a face on the local officers and it, and it allows the community to get to know the officers and know that they're people just like everybody else with a family, a husband, a wife, all of the things that everybody else in life have, those officers have the same struggles at home when they finish taking care of the public's problems. The money raised will go to funding next year's National Law Enforcement Week and helping local law enforcement agencies pay for things like radios and ballistic vests. In some more local news, in the past few years, CBD products have become popular in Springfield and stores have popped up in nearly every part of town. Well, now you can add another place to that list. It's Family Video. It's not necessarily a place that would normally think of when it comes to these products, but the manager of two Springfield stores, Christy Clark, says making CBD products available was all about convenience. Convenience is what makes it a little bit easier. Um, people come in to pick up their products, their, their movies every week. So now they can come in, they can get their movies, but they can also pick up whatever it is they're seeking for their health issues as well. Those products are 100% THC free and can be found at all Springfield Family Video locations. A traffic alert to bring you this morning, beginning today at 7 and lasting until 7 tonight. Traffic on Route 76 on the bridge crossing Table Rock Lake and Cape Fair will be down to one lane. Crews will be out today and those same times tomorrow to survey the bridge for a rehab project that's scheduled for next year. Still ahead for you on Daybreak, Build-A-Bear brings back a popular sale. Remember Build-A-Bear and states are trying to block a cell phone merger. We explain in your Money Watch. From Color 10 Ozarks First, Lauren Barnes, Joe Morano, and weather with meteorologist Elisa Raffa. This is Color 10 News Daybreak.